What's up guys, another monster here, another monsterproductions.com. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Isotope Vinyl, which is a free plugin by Isotope. It's on their website. I'll leave a link in the description of this video for you guys if you guys want to pick this up if you don't have it yet. Um, if for some reason you don't have this plugin, you have to get it. It is an absolutely amazing plugin and if you're doing any sort of lo-fi at all, uh, this plugin is pretty much a must to get. So I got this plugin a couple months back when I started getting into some lo-fi hip hop type stuff and um, I just really love it. So I decided to do a quick walkthrough tutorial here and kind of explain all the ins and outs of the plugin. So the first thing you'll notice is we have our mechanical noise, wear, electrical noise, dust, scratch, warp depth, and then a fader to control that. Down here we have an amount uh, and this controls the dust and the scratch. We'll take a listen to that a little bit later. Uh, then we have a spin down effect. We have our input and output gain. Uh, we have a switch that switches between mono and stereo. Uh, we have our bypass switch. So that, you know, bypasses the entire plugin. And then we have down here a different years to choose from. And this is kind of like the era of uh, when something was recorded. So that has to do more with the, the sound quality of when it was recorded and um, that sort of thing. And then we have our RPM, which if you're not really familiar with records or vinyl, um, they introduced higher RPMs or revolutions per minute because they're trying to get a higher quality sound. So uh, the higher the RPM, the less data they were actually able to store on the record. But anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, so that's kind of cool that we have that option as well. And then we have our warp model, which basically has four different presets that we can choose between the warp and we'll talk about that a little bit more as well so let's go ahead and take some take a listen to kind of what each of these things do so starting with mechanical noise uh, if we just slide the fader up it'll start to introduce some mechanical noise which sounds like this and it goes all the way up to 20 decibels which is pretty ridiculously loud um, and then we also have a wear knob which I'm gonna have to play something in order for you to hear what that does. It's kind of similar to the year. Uh, it gives like an older sound or, you know, like a worn out record type sound. So let's take a listen. <laughs> So that can be really cool, especially if we're adding it to like an instrument uh, or a synth or something like that. You can get some really cool sounds out of that. Uh, then next we have electrical noise, which is kind of similar to mechanical noise, but it has more of an electrical sound. Um, so this is what that sounds like. Again, we go all the way up to 20 decibels, which is ridiculously loud. And then we have our dust. And so you'll notice that if we put our dust all the way up, uh, nothing happens. And that's because we have to control the amount down here and it goes in increments of 10 all the way up to 100%, and that is what the dust sounds like. So it's emulating dust on a record. Then we have our scratch, and our scratch sounds, I'm gonna turn it up to 10 decibels. This one actually goes all the way up to 40 decibels, which can be really loud. Uh, we're gonna do 18.6 decibels, and again, you have to introduce the amount that you want. Um, it goes up to 10, so that's that. Then we have our warp depth. And now our warp depth is a really cool effect, especially for lo-fi. Uh, it's basically, <clears throat> excuse me, speeding up or slowing down the record um, or kind of warping the, the sound, um, basically going in and out of tune a little bit. So this is what it sounds like. <laughs> So, and then we have our presets down here, which we can play with, which is also very cool. So that's everything on this. The input and output gain should be pretty self-explanatory. It's just like any other plugin. Uh, and then we have our, of course, mono stereo. I'm not gonna go over the bypass and all that. So down here we have our year. And what our year does is, I'll just play it for you and take a listen. <laughs> Okay, so that about sums up the plugin. 
I did forget to mention one thing, and that is this, which is actually the coolest part about this plugin. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you guys like this, please go ahead, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell notification because that will let you know every time I release another video just like this one, which I'll be doing tutorial videos every Thursday. So stay tuned for that. Check the description of this video because I've got a couple cool freebies that I'm giving away for you. So check that out. Until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video.